video will be about firearms and ammunition and uh, either expediency or I can't really tell which. In the country of Turkey, <clears throat> they have a collection of gallery guns and garden guns that are in 9mm and apparently 6mm. And if you're not aware of that, you can look up the equivalents, but here we go. One of the ways to compensate for a lack of ammunition, because some of you may have never even heard of 6 and 9mm Flaubert cartridges, um, one of the weird things that they did, and you're looking at it, is something very obvious. A shotgun primer can be jammed into a clear or non-clear drinking straw. You can then put propellant down over the top of it, in this case about 10 grains or so, then push a cork into it. The hardest part is getting a cork that you can, you know, a cork cutter, I guess a paper punch. And then you dump in um, lead bird shot and then another cork and then crimp the end shut by heating it up with a cigarette lighter or whatever and then squeezing it shut. Now, um, what you end up with is this little spaghetti shotgun round that's one and a half to two inches long and has nearly a half an ounce to a full ounce, depending on how fine-grained the pellets are, of weight in it. And all it is is like a drinking straw, a shotgun primer, some propellant, and uh, some corks, and the pellets. Now, the funny thing is the bore diameter. Shotgun primers are about 0.24 inches, or 24 caliber. The inside of the straw is actually smaller than that because it has to be made to where it'll squeeze over it, but... The barrels that these are put into, because they were made originally for something called a Flaubert cartridge, which may have been the 6mm type, actually works out to being very nearly the same thing as 24 caliber. It's not really, but it's pretty close. Now, those are rim fire, which means it hits normally on the rim. Now, this rim here is just a piece of metal, and this is a center fire primer that's being used to initiate it. Now, the funny thing is, converting... Rim fire to center fire isn't really technically difficult, and a lot of people in other countries decided they wanted a reloadable quote unquote cartridge, which in this case is just a drinking straw from Starbucks, and they decided to just make their own cartridges this way. One of the other ones uses a piece of paper tape. Not joking, it's just tubing or tape. Now there's another size up called the 9mm. Now, when you look up reloadable cartridges, they're really not any different except it's a bigger round piece. And some of you who do plumbing might notice that it's actually a pipe stiffener for PEX tubing. Yeah, it's apparently a like 8 or 10 millimeter um, flanged uh, tubing stiffener. So, and the inner diameter of it is almost exactly the right diameter to push a shotgun primer into so what they do is they either heat them up and reform them to fit 9mm, again, Flaubert, or they just don't bother, just jam it in and fire it. And again, it can fire almost, you know, a half an ounce to one ounce almost. Now, the funny thing is, because it's .24 or bigger, that means it can hold number four buckshot. Number four buckshot is 24 caliber. And it can hold about 12 pellets, which is about a little over half an ounce of shot. Now, what that means is that they're making something that's ever so slightly more effective than a 410 cartridge, but that's only if they limit themselves to this length. You can make a 3.5 inch or longer because since the straw actually shrinks down compared to the chamber, you can just jam it all the way in and put in a very long shot straw, I guess. By the way, they're called pipette, 6 millimeter or 9 millimeter, which means, in this case, drinking straw. So yeah, and they legit sell these as ammunition in boxes and sometimes in little presentation cases and use them to go hunting small game and also obviously for self-defense. And yeah, they load one of the smallest buckshots types that is actually considered effective. And if, some of you might have noticed the 10 grains um, and anybody out there who does reloading knows that that's an ob obnoxiously large amount. Now... Uh, the other thing is, some of the guns are actually just made out of, well, brake line out of cars. That should sound familiar and pique the interest of a few people watching. And the other thing is, some of you might have remembered a few years ago that um, Walmart was selling something we all called the shotgun, sh a shotgun, the $100 shotgun from hell, out of Walmart. 
otherwise known as the Walmart gun or the wall gun. The same company that put those out is also putting out brand new factory made shotguns that are designed for you to buy primers, uh, smokeless powder, corks, and birdshot or 24 caliber number four buckshot and make your own cartridges and using a straw from uh, Starbucks. Some of them even come in the festive colors this year. So yeah, today I found out they literally are doing that and that legit makes this not the smallest shotgun cartridge on earth. Others uh, exist. But as far as center fire shotgun cartridges, e even though these are literally made out of, you know, straws from the coffee shop, these are made as factory made ammunition and sold to the public in a country. So legit, this may be the smallest shotgun cartridge marketed and it's currently being sold and in, in Turkey. And uh, again, a lot of the guns are just brake line tubes jammed into whatever gun they had. As long as it's long enough, it's not illegal. It just has to be over two feet long or something like that. Like, a, you know, about that length. And what's funny is this would be street legal in the United States, technically. Now, I will remind you that in order for them to exist, obviously, because this is kind of a weak way to do it, they really do make them over-designed a bit, obviously, for these guns. They start off with a normal shotgun, small bore, but still a real shotgun. Now, the funny thing is, one of the other methods for it is to push a cork into the barrel to a certain depth, then pour in your shot, put in another cork on top of it, put in an exact amount of propellant, and then you just have enough room to push in just the shotgun primer and then close up the mechanism and fire it almost like a muzzle loader, and you literally don't carry anything other than reloading components everywhere for hunting. And some of the guns are double barrel and are kind of, well, uh, artistically embellished and pretty looking, made of brass and copper. B because they started off being made out of uh, brass and copper water tubes and pipes and that sort of thing. Basically what they did is they took the barrels off of a normal gun and just put on something made out of this stuff. Anyway, a lot of them are steampunk looking and kind of cool looking. I'll leave some links below to, to people to look at them. The funny thing is, and this is something else, I'm just going to add this in. For some reason, when I look up anything in Turkey written by the people in Turkey about this, Google refuses to do the Google Translate, even though legit the text will translate directly. It also won't cache them, and it won't let anybody in the United States see them without complaining that it can't load the page. Uh... I don't know what's going on here, but that's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, if anybody's curious, the reason I'm bringing this up is I was looking up the uh, 41 caliber 410 shotgun shells that were called spaghetti rounds that were in some cases like six inches long and made for almost the same thing using a chunk of water pipe in like 1930s that were used for just subsistence hunting. But this, this takes the cake. I mean, literally, it's a drinking straw from the local coffee shop and they specifically use the see-through ones because then you know exactly what's in it. You don't have to have any writing on it. And it makes it, well, they sell the cartridges complete for around a nickel each. Sometimes even cheaper. Kind of makes you think. But don't look up 5 sixteenths brake line. That would be bad. Don't do that. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And good luck with all that.